Now, just because the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta is capturing my attention at the moment, that doesn't mean my Battlefield 1 news detector has been switched off. It's time to talk about the Turning Tides DLC, because DICE may have just leaked something rather telling about the third expansion pack for Battlefield 1. We know that Turning Tides is focused on amphibious warfare during World War One, and we know there will be maps focusing on the Gallipoli Offensive, the Zebra Garade, and if concept art can be taken seriously, action around the Heligoland Bite Battle, which was the first naval battle of World War One. Beyond this though, we haven't really been let in on much information, and with the DLC launching in December, time is running out for DICE to keep all the secrets in. Just a couple of days back however, an image was discovered on the Origin website that replaced the Turning Tides DLC concept art image with a proper DLC image, familiar soldier stance and all. Now whilst the image is extremely low resolution, perhaps on purpose, we can make out a few details. The soldier is holding what appears to be an SMLE rifle, sporting a bayonet attachment, linking in with the heavy British inclusion in this DLC, but if we look closer, we can see what appears to be a grappling hook fixed to the soldier's waist. Now so far, Battlefield 1 hasn't included many gadgets in its DLCs, in fact, the only gadget that's been added so far was the grenade crossbow for the support class, and that came as part of the free map drop with Giant Shadow. The grappling hook could be the first gadget offering since that point, and I think it could work very, very well with the Turning Tides DLC. Now we have seen the grappling hook before in the Battlefield franchise, first of all in Battlefield 2 and more recently in Battlefield Hardline. It allows players to gain a height advantage onto an object or a building where there isn't a staircase or a ladder to help them get up there. And in many cases, it actually allows the person using it to launch some surprise attacks on enemies who might not be expecting you to pop up out of nowhere. Now for Turning Tides, the grappling hook makes sense in my head, as I'm sure there will be plenty of sheer cliff faces on many of the maps that would be impossible to traverse on foot. Throwing up the grappling hook and then pulling yourself up would allow you to get that height advantage. There might be other routes along the cliff face, maybe some back and forth slopes going upwards. I'm sure DICE wouldn't resort to everybody having to use grappling hooks, but if you were to use it, you might get up there far quicker. If DICE were to add the grappling hook, I feel that as a gadget, it should be given out to all players without needing to unlock it. Unlike a primary weapon, which is more based on personal preference, a gadget can either be useful or not useful, and the Turning Tides DLC does indeed come with some sheer terrain and cliff faces, then I think it's only fair that all players have access to that gadget from the get-go. Let's not forget there will be several new weapons coming with this DLC as well, so there will be plenty to do when the pack arrives, but a gadget that's integral to the gameplay of the DLC, if I'm right in thinking, should be available to all players and shouldn't be limited to somebody who's just completed the assignment, especially as it could give you quite a big advantage over somebody else. I will be making a video soon about which weapons from the World War One era I think could fit nicely into the Turning Tides DLC, and that will be a collaboration with one of my friends, so look out for that. But today, let me know in the comments whether you think the grappling hook would be a good addition to Battlefield 1, and maybe drop some other suggestions for gadgets down there as well. I know plenty of people have been asking for some more gadgets since Battlefield 1 launched, and this DLC might be the one with such a different take on the combat that will be on offer. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll try and read as many of your comments as I can. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.